Hi guys, today we're going to be doing another palette bingo, but before we do that, I thought I would just kind of mention my hair because I just got my hair done and I'm so happy with this. I think it turned out so good. I feel like such a mermaid. Let me know what you think. I think this might be my favorite color that I've ever had and I also feel like every makeup look that I do from now on until I get my hair done is completely going to clash, but that's okay because I don't really care, especially the look that we're going to be doing today. So did I say we're going to do a palette bingo? I think I did, but we are going to be using the new MAC palettes. They're not really new anymore, but they're kind of new on the market, I suppose. But we're going to be using both of these. And I think what I want to do is I want to draw three shades from each palette. So if you haven't already seen these, this is the Vita palette. This is like a green and red and neutral palette. These are so beautiful. I just love these palettes. And then we're also going to be using the Muerte palette, which looks like this. So I feel like this is the one that would like go with my hair. But then if I get a lot of colors from the other one, we're going to be kind of but it's fine. I'll make it work. I'll find a way to make it work. So we're just going to get straight into this. I have my random.org pulled up on my phone. We're going to draw three shades from each. So let's start off with the Muerte palette here. So let's generate the first number. So we have number eight, number five, and number four. So four, five, and eight. That would be Let's see, one, two, three, four, we have a gray, five, we have a dark blue, six, seven, eight, and we have a dark red. Um, okay, this is gonna be a very, very intense look, not really what I was going for today, but I guess I didn't really know what I was going for since I was doing this, but this is gonna be interesting. So let's just go ahead and draw the other three here, so let's just keep going. Next, so we have number one, 10, and seven. One, ten, and seven. One, seven, and ten. Uh, so the first shadow was going to be number one, which is the green. I really despise this green. And then number seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have an orange and we have a red. <laughs> this is going to be very interesting. I do think, however, that these colors kind of go together at least. Um, maybe not like the gray is the best with this look, but... I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes and I'm gonna think about what to do. I actually have a lunch I'm going to after this with someone I've never met before, so she's probably gonna think I'm crazy. Actually, it's a YouTuber. I don't know if I wanna like name drop because that's kind of weird, but maybe I'll talk about it in a future video, but I'm definitely really excited because it's always fun to like meet new YouTubers, especially people who live close to me that I can become friends with because like I've said before, I don't really have any friends, so it would be great to like have some friends that I could just like text and be like, Hey, do you want to grab coffee? You know, so I'm very excited. But like I said, I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes with my Natasha Denona eyeshadow base. Okay, so I still don't have a plan. So we're just going to start because otherwise I'm going to be sitting there staring at my hand for the next 30 minutes and I don't have time for that. So I'm just going to start off by taking the yellow and putting that into my inner corner just to have something to like build a look around, I guess. So I'm going to go ahead and just pack that into my inner corner here. And we'll, we'll just, we'll just kind of see what happens, I guess. Sometimes the looks where I don't plan things out in advance turns out to be the best one. So fingers crossed that this is going to turn out okay at least. Like I really wish I did not have that gray. Like that gray is completely throwing off everything for me and I don't know what I want to do with it. Like I could put it in my crease but I think it might be a little bit too dark as a transition shade but I also can't really use it to deepen anything up with because of the other colors that I have. And I have so many dark colors that like it's just going to get muddy if I use that along with some of the other colors. So. I don't really know what I'm going to do with this look. I'm kind of thinking that I want to do maybe the gray and the blue in my crease because then I can have the green on my lid and I feel like those are kind of going to work together and then I can have the more like dark brown burgundy shade on my lower lash line as well as the red. I don't really know. I just, I don't like this color story and it's really bugging me and I also hate that green so... You know what? Scrap that. I think I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to put the warm tones in my crease and the cool tones on my lower lash line. Don't ask me why. It's just kind of what I feel like doing. And I just feel like it's going to kind of look better with my hair to have like blues on my lower lash line. I don't know. We're just going to try it. Hopefully it's going to work out. So I'm going to start off by taking the red and I'm going to put that into my crease. And then I'm going to take this dark brown burgundy shade to deepen it up with. Now the real question I'm asking myself right now is why did I decide to do this today? Like I could have chosen any other day where I don't have any plans to leave the house, but nope, I decided to film a palette bingo on a day where I actually have something to do and someone to meet. And now I am very much regretting my life decisions, but hopefully this is gonna turn out okay because I don't have time to redo my makeup if this turns out bad, so pray for me. <laughs> 
Actually, now that I think about it, I did the exact same combination on my top lid in my first impression with this palette, I'm pretty sure. Maybe I should do something different. I am literally so stumped. I don't know what to do. I think I just need to like do something. I'm thinking maybe I can do like a halo eye instead just to make it a little bit different than the first look that I did. So maybe I'll go into this dark brown here. I don't even know if I want to call it a brown. Like this is such a confusing shade to me because I don't know like what the appropriate name to call it is, but I'm going to take that shade and I'm going to make this into a halo eye. So I'm going to put this on the inner and the outer portion of my lid. And then I guess I'll use the dark blue and the gray on my lower lash line and kind of smoke it out like that. And obviously the green in the, in the middle of my lid. I don't know you guys. And the other question is, without green being so bad and having a hard pan, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to get it onto my eye because that color is so bad right now and it's so crumbly and so dry. I really despise that color, but I'm gonna just have to find a way to make that one work because without that, this look is going to be very boring. I mean, at least these masks are very easy to work with. That does make me a little bit more confident in that I might be able to make this work somehow. So I think at least now that I have a plan, even though I don't know if it's gonna turn out good, I feel better about the situation. Like I would love to know what you guys would do with this color combination, like pause the video right now and take a look at this and tell me what you would do because I, I just feel like there's no right way to do this. Not that there's ever like a right and a wrong way to do it, but I just feel like everything I do here is gonna be like weird. Okay, so I think this is looking okay for like the crease. I'm gonna go back in with that red a little bit and just make sure that the blend everywhere is looking nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and try that green shade. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put down a little bit of glitter glue because that way when I put my brush into the shadow, I'll have a little bit of glue on the brush. So that should help me pick it up because it is so dry. You guys have no idea. If you didn't see my first impression video using that palette, I will have it linked up in the corner, but that thing literally got hard pan like right after the first time I swatched it, which is, it's so bad for a palette that is like so expensive, you know, like I feel like that shouldn't happen. But on the other hand, I can kind of excuse it because I love the mattes in it so much. So I'm gonna go ahead and first take some of my, what did I use? My Too Faced glitter glue. And I'm gonna put that in the middle of my lid where I want this shadow to be here. And I'm gonna take this same brush and dip this into the green. And we'll just see how this goes. Yeah, this still is really not picking up much, but I'm just gonna take my time with this and try to build this up as much as I am able to here. Okay, so I'm gonna call this good for now. I am gonna go back in with those mattes and just make sure that everything is looking okay, but I just want to do my lower lash line here first so we can see how that is going to look. So first up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that gray and I'm going to smoke that underneath my eye and then I'll take the dark blue. I think this is the one that we got. Yeah, it's gotta be this one. So I'm gonna take the dark blue and use like closest to my lash line to kind of deepen up the gray width. Now I'm gonna try to not be like super heavy handed with this. And like I said, use this as more of a transition shade to the blue here. So I don't care if it's like a little bit dark closest to my lash line, but I'm gonna try to blend this out and have a soft blend here, which might be a little bit hard because these shadows are so pigmented. Like I feel like that is my problem with this palette bingo is that all of the mattes are just so dark and it's really hard to just use a lot of them together without them really muddying up. So, so let me go ahead and really start blending this out here. I do like the combination in the inner corner though with this gray kind of touching the yellow. I think yellow and gray is a really, really nice combination. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. I'm gonna just go into that blue and I'm just going to place that over that gray like closest to my lash line here. It's probably going to end up looking a bit more dark gray than blue, but I do think I'll be able to get this blue to show through at least a little bit here, especially if I put a dark blue in my waterline or something like that. Maybe what I should have done is I should have used the blue to smoke it out and then deepen it up with the gray. But for some reason, I just thought that the gray would be 
a lot lighter than the blue, which I don't know if that is the case or not because I feel like they're very much of the same depth. I don't think this is looking terrible, but it's just not, it's not something I would have done if I could have chosen what to do, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off. I'm gonna just work on the blends a little bit more. I'll put something in my waterline, put on some kind of a lipstick, most likely a nude because what else am I really supposed to do with this? And then I'll be back and I will show you the look. Pray for me because I don't know how this is going to turn out. I hope it's going to be like at least somewhat okay, so. All right, so after a lot of blending and a lot of little add-ons, I feel like this look kind of came together. I mean, I still don't love it. And I think the main reason is just because of that stupid gray that I got. And I also just don't like the green. And I felt like it was really hard to apply the green exactly where I wanted it just because of how hard it was to pick up on a brush and how dry it was. And it's just really hard to work with. But I do think that it kind of came together in the end with like 10,000 layers of mascara. Thank God for mascara. I don't know what I would do without it. So also sorry in advance for this being the only eyeliner that I'll probably use for as long as I have this hair color because it just matches perfectly. This is Deep End by Urban Decay. And if you've been on my channel for a while, you know how much I love this eyeliner. And I'm so happy I have like an excuse to pull this into every single look that I do now because it's just going to match perfectly. And then for my lipstick, I decided to go with a kind of a pinky nude. And this is from the Sephora collection. This is one of their, what are you even called? Oh, Lip Stories. And this is in the shade three. So this is what it looks like. These are really, really cute. I like the formula on these a lot. They're very, very comfortable, very easy to apply, very creamy. They're not very long lasting, but doesn't really matter. So that's going to be the look. Please, please, please let me know what you would have done with these colors. I feel so stumped still and I don't know if I would have changed anything. And if I did change something, I don't know what I would have done. I think what I would have changed like color story wise is I would have liked to swap out the gray with like the, the minty blue or something like that. Like imagine if I had this color right here instead of the gray, like that would have been so much better because I could have used these two together. The gray is just throwing everything off, especially since I have that dark brown. It was just so hard to work with. So I don't know. I guess with what I had, I'm happy with how this came out. I don't know, but that's going to be it for my palette bingo. Let me know what you want to see me do a palette bingo with next. It's probably going to be some single shadows. So if you have a brand that you would like to request, I'm thinking I want to do Cleona. If you want to see that, do let me know. I know a lot of you said you wanted to see me do something with Cleona shadows. So that's going to be it for today's palette bingo or today's video. If you want to see some other palette bingos that I've done, here is my playlist. You can click on that and watch all of the palette bingos to your heart desires. And if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Thank you.